Hey guys, it's AJ, and it's my second uh, Nameless Nerds video. Uh, sorry it's a bit late, I was out of town recently, so I thought I'd do it today, as opposed to, you know, doing it later or missing a day. So, better late than never, and Nicole told me that she'd be posting her video a little bit later, so hopefully this gets out in time just a little bit before service, at the very least. As you can see, um, I'm about to get going soon, so uh, I have to make this video quick. I got a little project I have to do on the side. So, um, you know, uh, I thought I'd start off with the fact is that I'm pretty sure that Zach didn't share any of the Nameless Nerds auditions videos. So because of that, I'm almost 100% sure that absolutely none of you know who I am. So I thought I'd start off with that. So first off, my name's AJ. Um, I'm a friend of Zach's and Justin's, but mainly I'm the best friend of Zach's cousin, Colin, who was a nameless nerd before. So with that, um, in addition to that, I am a amateur writer and a website designer. In fact, uh, I'm currently designing the Nameless Nerds website, and all the Nameless Nerds banners that you've been seeing so far have been mine. I know they're kind of like, you know, average and not really that great, but all in all, you know, it was just me trying. It took me a couple hours, but that's about it. I'm also kind of an RPG buff in some sense. I'm currently making a Magic the Gathering module. That's actually pretty cool. It's coming along really well, and, uh, you know, if people want to, I can actually show it to you and, uh, you know, give you a few tips on how to do it. You know, make it, it's, I'm trying to polish it really well so it takes from an original system that I had originally done, L5R. I, I wasn't a part of it, I mean, like, I've done it before. And uh, it was pretty cool, so, you know, I thought I'd show you guys that and uh, give you a chance to, uh, you know, experience an easy-to-learn RPG. In addition to one that's kind of different in the fact is that well, uh, even talking is very important in the game, and, uh, you know, I thought I'd take an interesting ride with that. So, I currently have to look through my notebook here onto things that I missed, because the first time I did my Nameless Nerds video, I did not watch anybody's videos. Absolutely no one's. Um, mainly because I didn't feel like it. Because I didn't think I had to, but then I watched everybody's videos because everybody asked me to. And, uh, you know, I realized that everybody had shit to talk about. So, you know, I thought I'd do it. Uh, first off, uh, Jason asks, scariest thing in video games? Well, the scariest thing in video games that I had ever seen. Well, that's kind of a tough one, but I would have to say the brass dolls in Cave and Manor. Those things were simple mannequins, kind of the ones you see in an acupuncture office or the ones you see in those commercials that had needles in their backs. So basically acupuncture dolls. And uh, those, you know, they had a mix between Slender Man and the Weeping Angels for some reason. It's because they had no faces, and yet they constantly moved after you whenever you weren't looking. And it was kind of scary. And like, literally, the moment you turn around, you could turn back instantly, and they've covered like five meters in over the course of like one second. They were really fast, and it was kind of scary to to say the least, even just watching videos about it. So the next one is favorite cheese. My favorite cheese, Curtis, would most likely be cheddar. Classic and, uh, you know, it's been everything that I, that I like. And uh, next is Justin with favorite league quote. I'm gonna have to say, out of all the league quotes, would have to be Nasus's original one. The cycle of life and death continues. We will live. They will die. Mainly because the original voice actor was really awesome, and I honestly didn't do it that much justice just there, even just listening to myself. The video won't capture my voice really that well, but myself, I really didn't like it either. So, you know, that's generally it. Uh, next thing is most nostalgia from a single item. That was asked by Lauren a while ago, and uh, to be honest, when it comes to that, I'm gonna have to say two things. One I lost recently, and I don't know where it is, and I hope I find it, is um, would have to be the ratty old uh, 
like soldier hat I had. That one was really important to me. It was uh, the first birthday gift I had ever gotten from a really close friend. It was given to me by Colin on during our Alberta band trip, and that definitely meant something to me. So I I keep that around, even though it's like ruined, and it's kind of ratty because my dog had bitten it and eat had eaten a large chunk of it, and that's why it's so ratty. But I still keep it because it's the one of the only things I have left of it of him and uh the other one was uh my dog's old leash it's old it's thinky no one would know why i keep it but it's one of the only things i have left of him so you know that's one of the reasons why i keep it um another one i'd wrote was scariest thing but i don't know what context that is because i didn't give myself context and uh that sucks but i'll i'll think about it later maybe uh next thing is favorite game villain well my favorite game villain Hmm, that one's tough. But in actuality, I'm most likely going to say Ripto from uh, Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. That one was uh, really good. I loved I loved him as a character. He was really gimmicky. Even though I was a little kid, I understood that he was a really cool thing. And, um, you know, I, I, loved, I loved him as a character. It was disappointing in Enter the Dragonfly that they had brought him back in such a bad way. But, you know... All in all, from what I had in Spyro 2, was the first Spyro game I ever played, and it was the most amazing experience, and I really loved it. Uh, let's see. What anime are you currently watching? That one is tough, mainly because I'm not currently watching any anime. So, when it comes to... I'm, I'm going to try and di like deflect that and go into... Uh, mangas that I've I've read because that's the closest thing I have to it and uh, I'm pretty sure this one's an anime too and hopefully it stays true to its story um would be Nisekoi uh, I'll put down a link below later on but uh Nisekoi is basically about this guy who dates this girl that he had just met because their families were rival gangs he was a yakuza and she and she was a foreigner and um, uh, they pretended to date so that their gangs wouldn't fight each other and start a war that would, like, destroy the entire city. And uh, it was, it's really interesting. It's really cute. And uh, I'm really hoping that it ends soon. Um, if you know me that well, they're my guilty pleasure. So, yeah, it's really nice. And uh, any other questions I missed, I'm um, sorry I didn't answer them today because I would quickly run through everything and in hopes that uh, I could get this stuff done. And I'm almost running out of time here. So uh, the other thing would have to be my question or challenge to the other nameless nerds uh, would be... If you were a Pokemon trainer and you had to pick one Pokemon to be with you for an entire game. Literally, if you could start with any Pokemon and that was the only Pokemon that you ever had as a partner, who would it be? No matter what, who would it be? And uh, to answer my own question, mine would definitely be Lucario. You know, Lucario is a really cool Pokemon. I'm, I'm, I would be excluding legendaries, but legendaries are awesome. But generally, I want to say exclude legendaries in this guys, because otherwise I'd pick Mewtwo and I'd want instantly win everything. But uh, right now, I'm definitely going to say, yeah, Lucario. He's really cool and really nice. And if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to ask. Uh, this is the first time as an official nameless nerd video that I actually watched everything and saw everything and uh, the other announcement is that the Nameless Nerds website will be opening soon it's a basic form website it's not anything that great because I don't want to code anything unless everybody wants to do it and uh, yeah that's basically it for today uh, thank you for watching uh, I hope to see you again this is AJ and peace out